and welcome back to my film and TV channel. I hope you're all staying safe and well. We're going to Australia today. Yes, we're going to have a look at an Aussie thriller drama. Uh, it's a, a Stan original, yes, a, a streaming service all over in Oz. And uh, it's now come to the UK, so we've got the availability of watching it here. So I'll tell you all about it. We're going to look at something, a mini series, and it's called Scrublands. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything. Film and TV, of course, uh, reviews like this of series, uh, film reviews, information, vlogs. Uh, it's Christmas is coming. It might even be an odd quiz for Christmas so, or or a quiz. Not an odd one, just a quiz for Christmas. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, it'd be great to have you on board. And if you can spread the word, leave us your comments on this film or anything to do with film and TV, and I will do my best to respond. And if it just needs a, for me to give a thumbs up to it, I'll do that. And if you can do that for this uh, vlog, I'll be... Uh, very much appreciated so if you can uh, do that guys thank you right scrublands an aussie thriller drama uh, four by about 45 46 minute episodes so uh, not too long so uh, can't get too bored can we well we'll have to see won't we this is now available also or showing on bbc here in the uk so check your streaming service uh, whichever uh, territory you're in and it's showing on the BBC from the 18th of November 2023 when episode 1 aired but you can of course binge watch it you can watch all four episodes on BBC iPlayer uh, for about 12 months so you've got 12 months to catch up with it so uh, plenty of time no excuses so uh, do that right what's it about well it follows investigative journalist Martin Skarsden as he has to uncover the truth of the case of killing of five parishioners by a charismatic and dedicated young priest. Well, yeah, very charismatic, dedicated to his gun as he shot the five uh, people down outside church. Yes, but uh, yeah, an interesting start to a se to a series. You know, you know what's happened. You know, obviously, there's a lot a lot told in flashback with this. So, uh, how did that? How did I cope with that? Well, I'll let you know. Anyway, this stars. Amongst many others, uh, the main guys, Luke Arnold, Bella Heathcote and Jay Ryan are the main names in this one. If, uh, Luke Arnold, I've definitely seen him in other things. Uh, some of the others, obviously, it's, uh, a couple couple of the Australians appearing. A bit like Sam Neill, he used to appear in every, every Australian film going. But he's not in this one, or those TV series, so... Uh, it must be having a rest, old Sam. Internet movie database, yeah, there's no critics' reviews. There's nothing on Rotten Tomatoes. There's nothing on Metacritic at the moment. Uh, all we've got is internet movie databases, which is Joe Public, you, people like you and me. 218 scores and reviews as of the 20th of November when I'm recording this, so 20th of November 2023. And it's getting a healthy score. I expect this has dropped just a little, perhaps. It's getting a 7.3 out of 10, so it is well like this. And we know the critics to talk about it. I'll give you my little summation of this little series. It's a good thriller. It throws a lot at you without getting too overly complicated. There's nothing, uh, no bells and whistles with this. We've seen seen it all before. Perhaps not in the same thriller, but we've seen all the same sort of ideas and plot lines and stories, etc. Nothing new. But I like that. I like the small town setting. A bit, you know, you sort of begin to think it'll be something like Wolf Creek. This, but it isn't quite. Uh, quite like that interesting characters uh once, once they start talking yes they will obviously talk to the journalist when he first arrives and even better it's quite short four episodes so the runtime uh what's not to like with it i mean it gets it over with quite quickly luke arnold leads it very very well I did get a little bit worried, I've touched upon it, haven't I, by the flashbacks. But they were fairly straightforward. Uh, I had to concentrate a little bit more than normal, perhaps sometimes. You know me, sometimes I can do doing other bits and bobs while I'm listening rather than watching sometimes. So I had to be careful with this one because there's lots of flashbacks intermittently spread throughout it as well. So, uh, which, which gives you little, little bits of information, of course, as the series progresses. There's a handful of plot scenarios that push the realms of believability, of course you do. And you think, what the hell was she or he thinking to do such and such a thing? But as entertainment, and that's all you're watching it for, you're not, we're not watching it to be over hyper, hyper, hypercritical about the dramatic licence. So we, as entertainment, uh, weighing in at three hours, 
a good pace, a uh, great pace. It doesn't sort of lack anywhere, you know, it just keeps going at a nice steady pace. And for me, it just about works as, as a watch, as an entertainment. There's nothing that makes you go, wow, um, of course, as it drip drips information out to you uh, throughout the thing, which, you know, you sort of can start making your own mind up about things, which I like in a good thriller. I like a good crime thriller where you start making your own assumptions and sometimes you're right and sometimes you're wrong but uh, yeah there's a couple of things I expected a couple of twists I expected that didn't happen but uh, yeah as things come together um, it's, it's okay I mean it's, 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 say it's nothing fantastic you say there's no no um, twist in it that, that shock you that surprise you but uh, it's no, no less enjoyable for this as it's been a routine Although it does throw a few things at you, of course, uh, from drug dealing to murder, um, of course uh, it's just just a just a good story and or good stories all combined into what uh, three out three hours, yeah, three hours, uh, forty five ninety, yeah, about three hours. So uh, very good. My scores, yes, my scores on this are very are positive. If it was Metacritic, I would be fresh if it was Rotten Tomatoes. And my, my score, not quite as high as the Internet Movie Database, it's watchable, and I've pushed it to very watchable, so I'm going to give it my 6.5 out of 10, to say. Uh, just good standard uh, thriller stuff uh, with an Aussie background, which I like. You know, you get a bit bored of US and UK stuff, don't you? So it's nice to have something set in Australia that uh, is uh, it's watchable, and that's all we can ever ask, isn't it? Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.